so hello everyone my name is payal and i am an in phd student at indian institute of science bangalore and i have cracked iit jam 2023 with an all india rank of 69 so today in this video i'll be sharing uh, my strategy how i managed to get a double digit rank in iit jam examination so i'll be discussing about iit jam biotechnology strategy so uh, it is always good to start uh, in time i mean the more early you start it is more likely that you will be getting uh, excellent results so uh, let's start with the video uh, first of all uh, if you are in your first year and uh, you are targeting iit jam 2026 so this video is also helpful for you as well uh, some tips i'll be sharing with you in the upcoming slides so let's get familiar with the syllabus uh, you might have already known that uh, plus 2 level physics and mathematics is there in the syllabus and uh, plus 3 level biology and chemistry sir plus 3 means undergrad level so the syllabus for iit jam is mentioned on their jam website so general tips to get a good rank is first complete the syllabus in time the exam is uh, mostly scheduled uh, in february so it is better to complete the syllabus before december so first complete the syllabus in time so that uh, you will get enough uh, time for the intense revisions and intense practice although uh, i have i had started uh, the practice from the uh, very first day as soon as i started the syllabus so it is better to practice as soon as you uh, complete a particular topic join any coach coaching if you uh, think you can't be able to make the consistency or uh, things like that and if you can afford join the coaching it it will be better or uh, if not in that case you can analyze the previous year questions to get a idea of important topics some previous year question analysis video are available on this channel you can check it out so it will help you get uh, to know the what are the important topics and what to study what not to study and then accordingly complete the syllabus do daily revisions and maintain the consistency please don't try to uh, do this thing that i'll uh, today i'll study uh, most consistently consistently and tomorrow i'll skip the next day i'll skip and then uh, another one good day i'll again start studying so don't do that maintain the consistency it will be a help in long run so first daily solve and practice previous year questions and the questions like previous year questions prepare short notes as because they will save your time for revision if you if you go to revise your whole notes line by line it will take much time but if you will make short notes out of them and then you will revise those short notes it will take less time and you can do uh, multiple revisions in a given number of time given amount of time and prepare formula sheets for physics maths etc uh, give mock test at the end of the december give mock test and learn from your mistakes so let's talk about a biology portion biology is highly volatile uh, today you will learn a concept if you want revise tomorrow you are going to forget so the thing is that you should re, uh, the any new concept you learn uh, make sure to revise it daily if possible if not then at least revise it once a week i mean every weekend should be revision days okay so give more focus to biology syllabus than chemistry physics and math i am not saying that chemistry physics maths is not important there these are the things which which are going to bring you a good rank but uh, focus more on biology it means that out of i mean uh, if you are giving let us suppose 5 hours a day out of 5 hours 4 or 3.5 hours should be for biology the rest 1.5 hour can be done given to chemistry physics and maths so you can divide your day like this uh, like uh, let us suppose there are uh, you are studying for the 5 uh, 
uh, or six days in uh, in the in a week and sunday will be your revision day for out of six week uh, six days in a week uh, biology you should study daily and uh, like monday and tuesday you do uh, you do chemistry next two days wednesday and thursday do physics friday and saturday do maths or anything that works but best for you uh, and the important topics for biology portion is uh, uh, biochemistry, cell biology, molecular biology, genetics techniques, ecology and evolution. Uh, and uh, if you will start way early, you can complete even the whole syllabus of biology. It is always better to complete the whole syllabus. I did complete the whole syllabus, but still uh, the thing, the, the topics which I'm mentioning uh, in the slide is you, you should not skip any of this, these topics. Solve the previous year questions from the very first day as uh, you completed biochemistry or a topic of biochemistry, try to solve the related questions from the previous year papers, which were asked in the uh, past papers. So, or practice similar questions to those uh, type of previous year papers. Uh, you can also solve uh, uh, the questions which were asked in other exams. Make short notes, revise them daily. It will save you a lot of time. For the chemistry portion, first look previous year questions. It is always uh, best to uh, for chemistry. You uh, if you will solve the important topics, if you will cover them, that will be all all of course enough. Uh, make proper notes. Whatever you are uh, writing, you should know what what you are writing, and revise those concepts on daily basis. Solve the questions similar to previous year questions. Some of the important topics in the chemistry portions are NMR, chemical kinetics, like first order kinetics, second order half life, all those type of questions. General reactions uh, and pH and buffer calculation are must. For physics portion, the same strategy. First, analyze the previous year questions, uh, make out the important topics. And if you feel any difficulty that I can't analyze by myself, so on my channel, I have already uploaded analysis videos. You can uh, watch out and get an idea of, of the important topics. Make proper notes, formula sheets, learn the formulas thoroughly. And for physics portion, try to learn the formula by writing. Okay. Solve the questions similar to previous year questions and practice maximum questions as you can. And important topics are kinematics, L, uh, new, uh, Newton's law of motion, uh, fluid properties like pressure, density, all those things. For maths portion, same thing. First, analyze the previous year questions. Get the idea which topics are important and frequently asked. Then complete those topics first and make proper notes, formula sheets, learn the formulas by writing. Solve the questions related to those formulas. Solve the previous year questions. Important topics include probability, stats, sets, functions, trigonometry, general aptitude. Uh, this type of questions uh, you can expect. Sources for preparation. Prefer active learning methods initially like YouTube or Naptal Swim courses or join any coaching if you can afford. Or you can learn by uh, reading books. But first try with active learning. Once you are done with the syllabus, then, because at the end of the day, if you want to crack an interview, you, you have no choice. You have to read the books. So, the thing is that if you will start from the, uh, after first six months, start reading books also. So, uh, I'll also bring some of the important uh, videos of important topics. Maybe, most probably, physics, chemistry, maths, I'll do. Uh, but, uh, for biology, of course, I'll do some of the things. But don't rely upon me only. Uh, the do your efforts as much as you can. Practice questions from previous year questions of all national level exams like GATT, BT, for GATE, IIT, JAM, etc. GATE, BT, GATE, Excel, both. These are freely available on their respective websites. And of course, I'll, uh, I am working on a website. So soon I will be uh, providing you the link. So there I'll, I, I will segregate the previous year questions based upon um, Chapter wise, I mean, based upon topic wise, like uh, what, what, what are the, what were the questions of biochemistry that were asked in GATT? What were the questions of biochemistry that were asked in GATE? Similarly, for other things. 
So do selective learning. What you want to know, what you don't want to know. If, especially if you are learning from left to right. Uh, smart work is more important. Uh, group study is always beneficial. Uh, try to uh, add up in the groups where the peers are there, the people who are targeting the same exam and uh, try to solve the problems collectively and also seek help from the seniors. So this was all about it. If you have any other doubt, any other concerns, you can always uh, reach out to me on LinkedIn or on the Telegram group. The links are provided in the description and you can simply search my name on Telegram and we'll be able to find the group. So if you have any other doubts, concerns or any help you want, you can always reach out to me. So wishing you uh, good luck for your exam. Thank you. Bye.